Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, and you know what time it is. It is all you can eat time. And today we are at August 8, which is a chain sushi restaurant in and around Toronto, Ontario. I often get requests for whatever reason to include lots of raw or footage with music not over it or unedited footage, so I made sure to include a bit more kind of raw footage than I usually would. So at this all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant, they also had dim sum, so I got to try some dim sum items for, well, really the first time ever to be honest. So what makes today's visit so crazy is we were seeing how much sushi Specifically, I was going to see if I could eat $400 worth of sushi and or items and really just see kind of how much that would equate to. So I ordered lots of items. I was here at a lunchtime, um, so it was a little bit cheaper. That being said, um, the, I, the menu still had quite a few good options and some special ones such as those little um, kind of fish tacos. Like they're like a sushi taco. It's basically like a spicy salmon roll on a taco that you saw at the beginning. Here I got a variety of different rolls, black dragon rolls, crab mango rolls, um, that was the black dragon or eel roll, one or the other, um, right there. Uh, also was doing some spicy salmon, some spicy tuna, really a lot of my favorite rolls. I kind of got there near the end of lunch and I specifically said to the gentleman, I said, am I going to have enough time? He said, as long as your orders are in by 3.30 and it's probably about 3, he said, you're going to get them and you're good to go. So I, of course, said, all right, deal. Um, so I ordered, let's say, like 100 items at first, like 100 pieces of different items. And I only got like maybe 30 or 40 of them. And then I kind of came upon this really, really big lull um, to which I repeatedly asked the gentleman, like, are these items going to come? Were they lost in the ordering system? You see there's a little iPad ordering system there. Should I reorder them? Basically that kind of thing. Um, Tochi assured me, no, no, they're going to come, they're going to come. Although, I'll be honest, I think there was a few times that I did kind of reorder the items, um, not thinking that they were actually going to come. Uh, because I did have, um, this is kind of the start of the lull, or at the bit of the lull. I had a good, probably like 30-ish minutes, where I didn't really get anything, and I had many, many items ordered. Um, here are chicken feet. So I always told everybody if I ever had the opportunity I would try chicken feet. So I decided to try them here. And what I was eating before was some spare ribs, both uh, considered dim sum items. So the chicken feet had this interesting sauce on it. I don't know how else to describe the sauce besides just like a very red tasting Asian sauce. And my kind of verdict for chicken feet is they're not bad. They, uh, they were very, very hot, and I also got to try again some of these little dim sum buns. I don't remember what that one was called specifically, but it was a sweet. I tried all, like, the desserty ones. Um, now we're actually getting to some of the sushi coming, but again, you know, there's a great big lull, and you have to consider by this point I have, like, 100 items ordered, and I've maybe gotten 30, maybe 40. Um, but all the singular pieces of sushi tasted not bad. Um, they had the tuna and the salmon which I always get can kind of my go-to here we had the eel um, which wasn't wasn't bad either everything honestly to this point and so far was tasting really excellent um, well at least really solid I would definitely would recommend and a much more pleasant sushi experience than my last going back to the iPad menu again I'm like where's all my stuff I have lots of stuff ordered Anyway, so just continued eating um, before, well, any other items arrived. But I at least had food at this point and I was very uh, okay with it. Went back, the chicken feet now, they cooled off. Essentially, like, I mean, they're just very bony and full of cartilage. It wasn't that they tasted bad, I just wouldn't really say they tasted great. But that was the sauce. I couldn't really taste anything but the sauce. Um, but a lot of the texture, a lot of it is just like skin. So imagine like a chicken wing, which is mostly just cartilage and small bones, but a lot of skin rather than meat. That's kind of how I would put it. 
But again, the main taste that I was tasting was essentially just this sauce, which I uh, I wish I knew how to describe it, but it just tasted Asian. Here I had some uh, spicy crab uh, sushis, which I usually like. These ones were not too bad. They had a little bit of a, hmm, how do I put this? They just didn't really taste exceptional. But again, they tasted pretty dang reasonable, no complaints. Um, although there's definitely lots and lots and lots of the spicy mayonnaise on them and quite a bit of rice as well. So, you know, from an actual sushi perspective, it was okay. It wasn't the best piece or item that I had. Had some uh, little crab sushis there. And then here we had some more tuna and some salmon sushis. Um, these were really good, actually. Like I said, I, they, were, they were good. They are solid. I have no complaints. Um, crab sushis, again, were just fine. Like, it's pretty simple. It's hard to go wrong. What do you expect? I found the piece of crab on them were a little bit smaller than some of the other places I've had them, but they were good. Um, I think the best crab I've had so far, um, in like that kind of crab, was at Wind in Niagara Falls, uh, Ontario, which just everything just there was a very, very exceptional. But so far, everything here at August State was going great, great, uh, was going well. Again, really liking these pieces of, of sushi. So at this part, I mean, you missed it, but there's about a 20, 30 minute wall uh, in between, or I should say before that last round of all those little tuna and salmon sushis. So now I'm starting to actually get some rolls. Um, consider I still had lots and lots of rolls and start to notice that the people behind me, like the little cooks or chefs, they kind of change. I think it's here momentarily or they might have just already changed. And they started giving me some interesting looks. So what I noticed is that all these pieces of sushi started to come out now were much bigger than previously. So I think maybe why they had that lull in the service was because they were switching, like, people, switching shifts. And so there was probably 100, maybe 150 pieces on that, uh, like, order system waiting for me. So at this point, if you notice, the rolls coming out are literally double the size that they were at first. So at first I was like, wow, this is sweet. These are massive. But then I was like, holy jumpets. Like, I have like 150 or 100 of these pieces ordered. And anything that I didn't um, finish or eat, I would have had to pay for. Just to give a perspective of how many pieces I've already eaten so far, I just finished my first bottle of soy sauce. A whole bottle. And they're still putting items on the table. So I was really filling up at this point, and I was like, all right, this is going to be interesting. I'm, I'm actually looking at the menu now not to order stuff, but to see what I, exactly I ordered so I could kind of anticipate it. Um, by the time I got to these crab, uh, I think they're mostly crab, maybe some spicy salmon, sushis, and I believe I have some corn ones coming as well. You notice, again, they're a lot bigger and a lot fuller than they were previously. And the amount of mayonnaise in them had, I would also say, doubled. So these pieces were getting really, really, really rich. Like, really, really rich and heavy. Again, they were still tasting good, but really rich and heavy. And by this point, I had consumed in excess of 100 pieces of sushi. In fact, I think it was more closer to probably about 150-ish. I did a final tally at the end, and I will let you know what it is. I also ordered all these little tacos, which if you compare these tacos to the ones I had at the beginning, they're way bigger. Like, they are double the filling in them. So again, just loads of sauce. And, you know, again, these tacos in general are probably two to three times the size of the uh, sushi pieces that I was also eating. In fact, at this point, I had so much of that spicy mayonnaise on the table that I was almost starting to get flavor fatigue. So you can tell that this was like a pretty serious sushi experience. Never before when I was going to a restaurant to review it, which is only partly a review, partly, I guess, kind of a challenge slash max out meal slash whatever you want to call it. But 
I had never experienced flavor fatigue before because I never, let's say, ate like a hundred-ish pizza pieces, which is my normal, and then had an additional hundred to a hundred and fifty pieces come all of a sudden within 10, 20 minutes after I waited half an hour after eating the first uh, first pieces. So as you can tell, I'm like I'm slowing down. I'm very, very full. I have lots of water in me. I have lots and lots of food. And you see, I even have dim sum items. Like I said, I ordered, well, again, about $400 worth of items um, to see exactly what would happen. So at this point, I was just kind of over the flavor of that spicy mayonnaise. And I don't think I had anything else coming, or I didn't think I did, but they kind of kept surprising me. Um, although I, I do think there wasn't much more. So at this point, I was really just trying to scrape like this excess spicy mayonnaise off the items there, because uh, it was just a lot. And oh yeah, there you go. I had all those other sushi pieces, which is just insane. So right now on the table in front of me, after I've already eaten like now probably 150 pieces, I have somewhere between 60 and yeah probably about 50 60 items on the table which like the camera's not even capturing at all you saw that little sneak peek so dim sum multiple dim sum buns those tacos not to mention about full 25 or 30 individual sushi and tuna uh, sushis um, still had some of those little cr spicy crab or spicy salmon whatever they were at the front there like I said, I was hurting. And really, if we're going for weight, at this point, we were probably approaching like 13, 14, maybe even 15 pounds of food. Here um, was some dim sum, these little like sponge cakes. Again, I was kind of like, well, at the time when I ordered them, I was like, oh, this will be good, something sweet. I like sweet, it'll break it up. But at this point, I just, I was sick of eating, to be honest. Um, again, the food is still really good. But I was sick of eating, uh, just from it taking so long. So again, start to notice that sushi chef. That's the new sushi chef. He just keeps looking over me, looking over at me, looking over at me. And I have a feeling that, like I said, some of those items were a little bigger. I have a feeling they were expecting me to have to pay for, uh, for quite a few of those items. Because again, if I didn't finish them, I would have had to pay full price. Um, here, these were those little corn sushi I talked about earlier. These were just really sweet and odd tasting um, which like they weren't bad but at this point where I'm kind of like sick of eating they weren't great um, and like I said just watch this this guy like the chef there he is just watching me so kind of after watching this footage back I have no doubt that they definitely purposely beef the size of the items up um, probably in hopes that I would have to pay for the let's say I don't know 60 plus items on my table which would have probably run me so the sushis alone would have been over hundred and fifty dollars on the table not to mention all those tacos so I probably had over two hundred dollars in front of me at this point uh, so I really think when he made them so big they're really banking on me uh, not being able to finish and essentially having to pay and I'm not gonna lie at this point I was like geez Louise I might have to pay for a few of these items I really might have actually f like overdid it um, I mean but again objectively I've never uh, tried to order about 250 uh, sushi items in a restaurant at a sushi restaurant usually I'm about a hundred uh, between 100 and 130 and then that's kind of where I cut it off because that's like a comfortable spot for me that's my enjoyment enjoyable spot um, but here going to for going for that 250 number or about that 400 actually it might even been more but at least that $400 number with uh, 250 pieces I was feeling it again flavor fatigue from all that spicy mayonnaise grabbed a diet coke I knew I'd have to you know I just I needed something I was uh, I was not feeling that at this point you can just see, I'm like, the hesitation, and again, that way he's looking at me, he, that guy is just anticipating that I'll have to cut it quits, and I won't be able to eat still these, like, 
30 to probably 30, 35 items in front of me because I still have all the uh, like multiple dim sum buns. I think I had four, at least four dim sum buns. Again, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like about 20 ish sushi plus the, well, we with and then the tacos, so minimum like 20. Yeah, it was interesting at this point, everybody. Um, and in fact, at this point, I noticed my camera battery was dying, to which it did end up dying. So, I hate to say it, but you're about to notice my camera dies. Um, what happened? Well, I will fill you in momentarily. Did Joel have to pay? Or was Joel able to finish the $400 worth of sushi and hit about 250 pieces? We will find out. Fortunately, the answer is yes. I was able to finish it all. But I tell you, it probably took me about another 30-ish minutes after my camera died. So what I was expecting to be like an hour lunch, maybe an hour and a half, took me at least two to two and a half hours uh, by the time I actually got out of there. It was intense. I don't think ever again I will try to order that much sushi, or if I do, I gotta make sure they don't beef up the size. Um, overall though, review of August 8, it was, it was good. No, no complaints. Uh, I went to the Hamilton location, and it was definitely the uh, best sushi that I've tried in Hamilton, especially in the all-you-can-eat variety. The staff were very friendly. Um, I will overlook the fact that they tried to make me, you know, probably pay for a lot of items by beefing them up, but I will overlook that because that's kind of a positive note, and at the same time, it's not, but... I'll overlook that because I also was eating an absurd amount of food, like absurd. So with that, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you tuning in as always. Um, sorry my camera died. Uh, it was really the first time that I've ever had it happen, but I was able to finish it, which I was so thankful for because I thought I was looking at paying about a $200 bill before I got that Diet Coke. So flavor fatigue is a thing. You can get rid of it with a bit of a flavor and time. Like I said, this took me so long. That everybody, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy eating.